Today I'm going to reveal the newest troop coming in the next Clash of Clans update and with that I'm going to share how to unlock it, what does it do, as well as some ways you could use it in battle. So after this update at Town Hall 15, the barracks will become upgradable to level 17 for 16 million elixir and a 14 day build time to unlock the new Root Rider at level 1. The Root Rider can be upgraded in the level 13 laboratory to level 2 for 19 million elixir and a 12 day upgrade time. Then at Town Hall 16, once you've upgraded the laboratory to level 14, the Root Rider can be upgraded again to level three for 22 million elixir and a 14 day upgrade time. And according to this game version, it does appear that Town Hall level six and above should be able to request the Root Rider from high level players or by spending raid medals. Each level of the Root Rider is defined in appearance with the root growing thorn and the rider's hair and outfit changing colors as it increases in power. The Root Rider is an earth warrior who is able to ride into battle on top of a tough tree root which can smash through walls and slam defenses into dust. When we look at the stats for a level 3 Root Rider, you will notice its massive 8,000 hit points which places this troop into the tanking category similar to a golem. This troop's favorite target is also defenses, but one major takeaway is the fact that it has a very low low damage per second at 250 points with a camp housing space of 20, which means that you can bring a lot more of this troop into battle. When placed in a battle situation against a scatter shot, the Root Rider will target the defense and travel through the walls, damaging each layer with a slight delay as it passes through them. Essentially, this troop can tank for other units and open up walls very similar to a wall wrecker or a log launcher. Once the Root Rider arrives on target, the Root will begin to slam down onto the defense, but due to its low damage stat, it takes this troop a while to clear the target on its own. So based on that example, we can determine that the Root Rider will not hold up very well against the Monolith or the single target Inferno Tower without the assistance of other troops or spells like the Freeze and Invisibility. Now when we take into consideration that the Root Rider can tank for other units and open walls, we could see players use it like this example where the Root Rider leads the way in a smash style attack at Town Hall 15, basically blocking for the Yetis, Bowlers, and Heroes in the place of a Log Launcher. Another thought I had was, the Root Rider could be added into a Hero Dive situation, which means that it could open walls and block for the King queen and royal champion to clear a percentage of the base while eliminating important defensive buildings. But how do you think this new troop will be used? Let us know down in the comments. And just when you thought sneak peeks were coming to an end, Clash of Clans has a banger change coming to the game which we will discuss in our next exciting update reveal.